Welcome to our Docker Deep Dive. Today, we're tackling a puzzling issue that many users encounter. Our viewer is using Docker version 112.6 and has a question about image management. They pulled an image from the Docker registry, exported it as a tar file using the docker save command, and then removed the original image. However, upon loading the image back with Docker load, they noticed something strange. The image has lost its repository and tag information. Why does this happen, and how can they retain the original image name? Let's explore this together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. on. When you use the docker save command, it exports the image as a tar file. However, this process does not retain the repository and tag information. After loading the image back with docker load, the image appears without a repository or tag. This is because the load command does not automatically restore this metadata. To keep the original image name and tag, you can manually tag the image after loading it. Use the docker tag command to assign the repository and tag. Finally, verify that the image has been tagged correctly by running the docker images command again. You should see your image with the correct repository and tag. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When you save and load a Docker image using a tarball, you lose the original names and tags associated with that image. This happens because a single image ID can have multiple names and tags, but they are not preserved in the tar format. For more detailed information, you can check the discussion linked in the description. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To save and load Docker images without losing the original repository name and tag, you can use the import command. For example, you can pipe a tar file into Docker import with a specified name. After importing, you can verify the image with the Docker images command, which will show the new image with the specified repository name and tag. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To retain the original image repository, name and tag when using Docker Save and Load, follow this workaround. First, create a text file with image details using the command docker image ls. This command generates a text file listing your images, including their repository, tag, and image ID. You may need to edit this file to set the correct tags. Finally, use the docker image tag command to assign the correct tags to your images. For example, 
tag the images as Postgres Latest and WordPress Latest. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To solve the issue of losing the original image repository, name, and tag when using Docker Save and Load, this user created a simple one-line script. The script imports multiple .tar files and tags each image immediately. Remember, you need to run this script in the folder where all the .tar files are located. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped answer your question and you found that answer that you're looking for. Now, please hit subscribe for the help. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time on another one of these videos. Cheers.